Hey everybody, happy, what day is it, Tuesday night. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I'm Robin and behind the computer, behind the camera is Bill. And we are coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. And we've got a fun little craft project for you tonight. So when you are here, say hello. All of a sudden my nose is itching. And I'm going to take just a second and pull up the live on my phone so I can see if anybody's there. So say hello if you are watching and there's a red box right here that says live, you're watching us in real time, welcome. And if the box is not there, you're watching the replay. That's just fine too. We invite you to keep watching and please comment hashtag replay so we know when you caught us. So. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Hello, Melissa. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you for the stars. Cheryl, yes, you're on time. Good for you. <laughs> We're actually on time too. That doesn't always help. Doesn't always help. Doesn't always happen. You guys know the drill. If you would give our page a heart, follow our page, sprinkle it out to your page, to craft groups you belong to anywhere, special friend you know that might be interested. That's all great. And we do have our stars activated as, as Melissa has already so generously contributed to. Thank you again so much. Hey, Alana. Bill, are you feeling better? I'm doing better. My head is still stopped up, but I'm doing good. He's been out of bed. He returns, he returns to bed more often than normal, but for the most part, he's, he's up and going, and I'm just praying he did not give me any of his germs because I have Chalk Con coming up next week, and I do not want to be sick for that. So our project for tonight is a fun one. It's got a little bit of chalking to it, but it's a cute little project I've seen on Pinterest. And I just thought it would be fun to do. Tell me if you have lots of odds and ends everywhere. It can be in your office. It could be in your desk. It could be in your kitchen. It could be in your bathroom, uh, next to your bed. You have little odds and ends. So here's a cute little way to hopefully organize some of those things. I'm thinking this is going to go, it's either going to go in my bathroom or it might go next to my coffee maker. And if I really like it, I might make more than one and put them in both places. Anyway, to make this project, you will need two Dollar Tree little crate boxes. Now I got the kind, my Dollar Tree has a couple different kinds. They have one that's that's got like openings between the slats. And then this one that just kind of has a, a groove cut in, but it's a it's a solid piece of wood. These are actually a little bit bigger, and these are the ones we're using. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Glad you're here. So two of these, either either one doesn't, doesn't really matter, but these are the ones I'm using. So these are Dollar Tree. They are called Wood Crate, over by where they have the wood, wood products. And then you're also going to need a plastic tubular okay. coat hanger. <laughs> Coat hook, no, it's not a coat hook, coat hanger, okay? Um, doesn't so much matter the color because you can paint it, but if you can get one in the color scheme you want and you don't have to paint it, that will be awesome too. Okay, so we are also going to be, we're also gonna do some decoupage and I'm gonna do some decoupage with some tissue paper. I got this at, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's pretty, it's kind of got that little um, Fleur de Lis type design. Anyway, that's what we're going to use. So we're going to decoupage these up and then we're going to, we're going to do a cute little chalky thing. So to start with, I'm going to paint these. I'm going to give them a white base because, hey Susie, welcome from Denmark. We are glad you're here. Okay, I'm going to take off the sticker. Thankfully, it comes off pretty easy. No, these aren't from Hobby Lobby. These are Dollar Tree. 
Okay, I'm not gonna paint the bottoms. I don't think. I'm not gonna paint the bottoms. Okay, and I'm just gonna use chalk paint. Now I got, I kept going through my white chalk paint in the smaller container. So I went and got this at Home Depot. It's just Bear brand. It's chalk paint. It's just in a quart instead of a couple ounce jar. So we're going to use that and we're just gonna paint these up. The reason I'm painting them is because when I put the, the tissue paper down, the background will show through. So I don't want, I, I kind of want that to be a bright white background. So I don't want it to be brown. So, and I'm actually going to paint the inside too. I'm going to start there. And, and we're going to watch some paint dry tonight, people. Oh, joy. I... Yep. Let me give this a quick coat. Inside and out. I might as well do the bottoms too. Yeah, welcome to your world. <laughs> Indecisive. It's still only going to take an extra second to, to do the bottom. Okay, so here's the inside of one. Top of that one, add it. Me too, Cheryl, me too. <laughs> welcome, Cheryl. I already said welcome to you. You said you were here on time. Yes, she I get. I get so confused. I was here on time also. Yes, you were. It's because... That's because you're wonderful. Okay, that's the, we get inside that little cut out handle. That might show through. Okay, so inside of that one, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And we'll go back and we'll do the outside. So how's everybody's week going? Tuesday, everybody healthy and happy and hot? How hot was it here today? Not bad, probably about 85. We had a breeze almost all day yes, long. Yes, Bill, Bill put his guardian angel to work today. <laughs> he was, you were out. I was enjoying the day. It was a wonderful day out in the, in the shade. So I'm out there doing some work, and I was sitting down using, um, doing some wiring and some uh, um, electronic stuff anyway. I got thirsty, so I got up and went inside for a couple minutes, and... Uh, lo and behold, go back out there, and a limb had blown out of the tree that I was sitting under, and it pretty much knocked over the chair I was sitting in. So, thanking God he yes. didn't let me get beaten yes, by Yes, it was not your time, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. We get some pretty ferocious winds up here, but I don't think that was the case this afternoon. I think it was probably just an old limb. It decided to come down. Old limb. Okay, so for those of you who haven't heard me say it, I like to paint with chalk paint because it adheres really well to the surface and it covers really well and it dries pretty quickly. So those are all good things when you're a crafter. Okay, so there's the inside. Cheryl says it's having a good week, but it's still very hot. Yes, it was yep. divine intervention, me not getting beamed. Yep. That's truth. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna get my dryer out. 
dry these up a little bit. Now you can paint these any color and you don't have to do, you don't have to do the tissue paper decoupage. I just thought that would be fun. Something, I haven't done decoupage for a while and my, my Mod Podge has been calling to me. It's mostly dry. Now you have to decide if one coat is enough. If it comes out a little streaky, you might want to put a second coat on just to make it a little more solid. Not so much on the outside, more on the inside, because the inside we're not going to cover up. That's mostly the inside. Now I'm going to switch to the outside. And I'm not going to worry too much about those grooves. They just We're just going to work around them. We had another good thing happen. We think we have a house sitter lined up for when we go to Denver in, a, in just about a week. I think in a week we will be on our way to Denver. So we had our, our um, the, the usual house sitter we have was unable to was unable to do it this time, but I think we found somebody who will do just as good a job, loving on our animals, probably spoiling them rotten, no doubt. I love those, yes you can, you can do, so. I have another project too to do with the crates, but I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got it all worked out in my head yet, but I've got another one that uses a few more crates. But yes, they are they are very handy. So I'm gonna I am gonna do the top, but I mean the bottom. But I'm gonna come back. Hey, Joanne, you're here. Did you get your car all fixed up, or are you on the side of the road watching us? We're glad you're here. We are making little organizers, an organizer, using the Dollar Tree wooden boxes and a coat hanger. Just at the Dollar Tree today, getting stuff for vacation Bible school. What kind of stuff? Prize Dollar stuff? stuff. Prize? Stuff. Did you get prize stuff or did you get craft stuff? It has been a while since I've been to the Dollar Tree. I'm I'm kind of going through some withdrawals here. And the last couple of times I was in town, I did not go to the Dollar Tree. That is rare. Not that I am not that I don't have my own little Dollar Tree inventory down here. Because I do. Okay. Four edges. Let me dry these. And we will do the cups are gonna miss you. Yes, they will, but 
Our friend will spoil them. Judy is a dog lover. No yos for the kids as they wait for the moms to drop off and pick up. Well, that's a cute idea. What am I? Dollar Tree stuff. Oh, Becky, thank you so much. I just saw that. Thank you so much for the stars. We um, were debating on what we're going to use our next set of stars for, and we're thinking we were we're thinking we're going to use them as prizes to thank you all. Use them as some giveaways. Use them to purchase some giveaways. Okay. Do you have something to say, Bill? Um, I'm just, <laughs> you're just you're going through you want me to read connections. <laughs> oh, where are we going? We are going to just outside of Denver. We're going to Aurora, Colorado for a for a chalk chalk couture conference. So it's on next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, plugging you into my TV. So we will be nice and big, huh? Okay, so now I'm gonna do the bottoms just, just because I can. Just because, just you because can. I can. They might be seen, who knows? I always tell you, finish the backs, Finish the bottoms, especially if you're selling it. It gives it a better impression of your workmanship. And do it for yourself too. You deserve nice things. I feel so extravagant having a quart of, of white chalk paint. Okay, so I've got those painted, and I don't know, I don't think I need that again. I think I'm going to, I think I'm not going to paint my coat hanger. I think I'm going to leave it black, but if you did have an odd color coat hanger, and you didn't want it that color, you could, I would sand it up a little bit. I'd rough it up with some sandpaper, and I would just do chalk paint on it also. Okay. Okay, next, what we're going to do, we are going to decoupage with our tissue paper. But before we do that, we are going to, we're going to apply our Mod Podge. I'm not going to decoupage inside here, only on the outside and not on the bottom. So I'm going to get my Mod Podge. This is the matte, so it won't be super shiny when it's dry. But you could use the gloss. It doesn't matter. If this is something that you were thinking about putting outside, you might want to get the outdoor Mod Podge. Because I think we are going to put a coat of this over the top. So I'm getting a, a decent coat of Mod Podge. I'm gonna put it on all four sides. Again, not the bottom and not the inside. I'm gonna make sure I get it all around. And this is what's going to stick our tissue paper to. But instead of applying it while the Mod Podge is wet, we are going to, uh, we're going to dry the Mod Podge, then apply the tissue paper. Now you can do this with napkins. You find some pretty napkins. 
You just want to make sure you get them down to a single ply. Most napkins come two or three ply. So you want to peel off all of those plies except the very, you know, down to the very top one. One done. Okay, and very important that you get all the way to the edges. How many of you have seen me do this Mod Podge before? The dry Mod Podge method. Bill's raising his hand. Yes, you've seen it. So I hope it's new for somebody, but if not, that's okay. It's a good review, a good reminder. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded of techniques. Think, oh yeah, I could I could get out my fancy tissue paper and decorate that. So it's not just plain painted. Okay, so tell me what kinds of odds and ends you have that need to be organized. And Joanne, I, I don't think you count. I think you have so much odds and ends right now because she's having to completely pack up her, her home for one of the most ridiculous reasons. Okay, I'm going to leave that out though because I may need just a touch of it again. Okay, Cheryl has seen it. Okay, so now I'm going to dry the Mod Podge. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna apply the, the tissue while it's wet. Try not to burn my hand because I'm using my super your whole life. <laughs> it needs to be or well you're gonna need to buy you're gonna need to buy a whole lot of boxes, Cheryl. I know when I was a teacher I always had things out on my desk that needed to be organized, stowed away. Here my bathroom has all kinds of hair scrunchies and bobby pins and all kinds of stuff that needs to be corralled. Yes, cleaning out the tent now from unnecessary stuff. Well, that can be a good thing too. Okay, so this is dry for the most part, it's slightly tacky, and, and I have paint on my fingers. So I'm going to get out my tissue. And this was $1.99 full price at Hobby Lobby. So if you wait till you find it on, on vacation, on sale, you can get it for less than a dollar ninety nine. We're only going to need one sheet, and I'm going to need my scissors. I'm going to move. I'm going to move this for now. And let's see. I'm not going to cut this. I'm not going to cut this exact. I'm just going to. Cut some strips of it. This should be enough. Hey, Patty. This should be enough to go. Yep, that goes completely around. So that'll be perfect. Let me cut another strip for my other box. Okay, so Patty, we are doing a little organizer using Dollar Tree crates and a 
tubular coat hanger for that in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to start on one end and I'm just, I'm going to try to get right up to the edge. And I'm going to lay that down and then I'm going to take my iron. And I'm just using my little, my little baby Walmart iron. And I'm actually going to put down Oh, I'm gonna put down some parchment paper because I don't want the, uh, the ink from this tissue paper to get on the back of my iron. So I've just got that laid down. Now I'm gonna take my iron. It's on medium, medium high. And I'm just going over that. That is reactivating the Mod Podge that we dried. And it is sticking it to my surface. And I can see it, the ink is kind of smearing just a bit, so I don't want to put, I'm going to back off the heat a little bit. Okay, and before I get going too far, I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm going to trim just this first edge. I'm just going straight down with the sanding block. Now I'm going to lay it on its side. I'm going to do the same thing. Pull it kind of tight. Put down parchment paper and give it a quick once over with my iron, making sure I get the edges. Good. Now that's going to be hot, so don't touch it. I'm going to keep turning it. And the box might not be completely square, so but that's okay. It doesn't have to line up super well. Same thing, making sure I get to the edges. Here. And then once more over the top here. Lay it down, cover it with parchment, and heat it. Ta -da! Okay, I'm gonna let that cool off and then we will then we'll finish it up. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and just checking to see if there's a right side up. There is. I'm going to line that close to the edge. And iron it. Yes, I do love the pattern. And yes, Bill was sick. He was, he had a head cold, I guess we would say. Some sort of, uh, anyway, just going to start that edge right there. But he does seem to be better now. Like I said, he has been out of bed, which Sunday I don't think he was out of bed at all. And he's been out of bed. He does go back to bed a lot more frequently than normal. But... Overall, I think he's doing good. He's able to get up and get his own Tylenol now. <laughs> Something I didn't. No. I was so far out of it, I couldn't even get up and go get Tylenol or anything. Now, I could do the wet method. I could lay this down while my, my Mod Podge is wet. But then I, I always have wrinkles. In the, in the paper, not on my face. That's not why I have wrinkles on my face. But this gives me less wrinkles. However, I am going to go over it with some a clear coat of Mod Podge. And so I will get some of those wrinkles back, but not nearly as many as if I had, as if I had done the wet method. So this gets this stuck down nice 
And now I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing with my sandpaper on this edge here. I'm just going to go straight down and that sandpaper just separates it, gives it a nice a nice edge there. I'm going to do the same thing on all the edges, top and bottom. And let's see, sanding block, they have them at the Dollar Tree. I happen to get these at Harbor Freight. They're actually slightly cheaper at Dollar Freight, at Dollar Freight. That's a new name. They're slightly cheaper at Harbor Freight, but you have to buy a pack of six. So the price each is a little less than a dollar. But you have to buy six. Teach your dogs to bring you food. Oh yeah, that'll work. I think they believe the world revolves around us bringing them food. Okay, so again, I'm just I'm just going straight down the edge. And it is, I don't have to worry about cutting it. So here is my first, where is it? Right here. Here's my first little box. And I'm not too worried about the patterns matching up. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to peel off, not peel off. I'm going to sand off all of these edges. And then, and then sand off these edges. gives me a nice clean finish there. Here's my second box. It's cute. It looks kind of, I don't know, French provincial or something ridiculous like that. Okay, hey, now I still have where these little holes are in the handle. See, and I even kind of poked through it. That's okay. Let me show you a fun way to take care of that. And I'm going to try to do this without burning the house down. I'm very thankful. You can actually take a little flame and catch the edge of that and it will the flame will stop when it hits that line of mod podge hopefully so let's see if i can do this come on oh. woohoo you see that maybe go overhead okay so i'm just going to catch one of those little edges it's almost like a, yeah, it just burns that away. And it stops right there at the edge. Is that not cool? And not even the smoke alarm is going off. You are. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, well, this would be an awesome Band-Aid box. This could be a little first aid kit box. Okay, and now I'm just kind of wiping away the ash. Okay, so now this is just paper. And if I put it in the bathroom, it's going to get a little damp and it uh, might kind of mess up the surface. So I'm going to take I'm going to take some more, another layer of Mod Podge and just go over my tissue.
and some of it will kind of wrinkle up, but that's okay. We're not fighting with the wrinkles as if we had first applied this while it was wet. And I'm actually going to Mod Podge the inside too. We haven't even got to the fun part yet with the, with the coat hanger. First is the five year old. That's not your five year old. Who is that? A, a neighbor. A neighbor. Five -year -old. A neighboring five year old. A Bible study five year old. Okay. I've got a layer of that on. Let me hit it with the dryer. Now, if you wanted to, you could spray this with a clear clear spray paint. She answered yes. Yes? I answered yes. Okay. Um, I gave you lots of options. Okay, so that is a couple more seconds to dry. I'm going to paint up this one, Mod Podge up this one to just seal that up. <coughs> and don't put this on too thick, but if you want to, if you want to put a lot on, do it in two two smaller coats. So put on a thin coat, let it dry. Put on another coat, let it dry if you if you want to give it some extra protection. I mean this is this is not going to be waterproof. It's not you're not going to want to be dousing it in your sink. This a dry. Okay, so while I'm drying this, I want to remind you, I have a couple of sales still running. It's almost the end of June. We just have two more days after today. And I have a surface sale. So I have all of our, all of our um, surfaces on sale. And I have paste and ink on sale. And for the first time in a long time, we are not out of any paste colors. We are not out of stock on any paste colors. And there's only, I think there's two ink colors that we're waiting to come back. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do the inside also. Because that is just chalk paint and I kind of want to give it a little extra protection. I'm just going to lap on a layer of Mod Podge in there. just for a little bit of moisture protection. So if you're interested in those sales, you can type the word sale in the comments and see what's on sale for another couple of days. Take advantage of that. 
and let's see i did i did a little uh little thing on club the other day so we've got i have an awesome special incentive for new club members who join in the month of june can't tell you about it i can't tell you the details on on my business page but if you type the word club in the comments you will find out the details and also if you are if you're already one of my club members, I have a way for you to take advantage of the incentive. Also, I sent all of you guys an email. So if you if you're one of my club members and didn't get that didn't get that email, please let me know and I'll make sure to resend it to you. It just I think it went out yesterday. Now this is my personal incentive. So it's not not every chalk designer is offering this. Just just me. And so you got to go to my, or you can go to my VIP site, my VIP page. My VIP page is absolutely free if you're interested in joining that. That is where you can find out all about my specials and my deals and my incentives and my giveaways. So... Get yourself in the VIP group. Again, that's free. You can comment VIP. I think all of those, all of those are probably listed in that pinned comment on the chat. I think so stop for a second, try to dry this, and then I'm going to do the bottom. And then we're going to get to working with the coat hanger. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my bathroom, like I said, hair scrunchies and barrettes and Q-tips and flossers and all of those things could, could get organized in these little containers. Next to my, next to my little coffee maker, I'm thinking tea bags. This would be great if you um, if you're if you're in charge or you want to volunteer to do something <coughs> for um, for your office and they have a little coffee nook or a, a wedding shower, a baby shower, a birthday party, and you have a little coffee bar, you could put tea bags in one, you could put sugar in one, you could put fake sugar in another one, just all your little all your little condiments or you could put it if you had a barbecue you could make a couple of these up and you could put ketchup packets mustard packets all that good kind of stuff and bottom give it a quick dry and then I will get to work on the coat hanger because I know you're all just dying to see how I'm going to put this together. We are all you are at the edge excitement. at the edge of your seat. A quivering. A quivering. Okay. I think we'll put that in the water. I think I'm done with my Mod Podge. Let me try this up. We are so hot during the day around 7.30, a jacket. <laughs> I know that feeling. So now I not only have paint on my fingers, I have paint and Mod Podge. Okay, I think that is mostly dry. It's still just slightly tacky. So I'm going to put it on 
some parchment paper so it doesn't stick here. Okay, so the next thing you need is the next thing you need is a coat hanger. And these are going to be like an A-framed stand that we're going to glue these onto. So trust me and I'll show you how it works. So I'm I'm using I need to cut these at um, at a right angle for it to work right. So I am lining this up, lining this up on this line, so I know that is straight. And then I'm going to make a mark. I've got a chalk pen here. I'm going to make a mark at I think seven inches. So when I cut that, this will be. This right here will be a right angle. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it around. Make sure that is lined up. I'm going to hit it at about seven inches. Give or take. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to need something to cut through this. This isn't hard to cut through. I got, I borrowed from Mr. Bill, who has got his eye on these, and to make sure, I have to make sure they get returned to him because they're out of his box. magical toolbox. Magical okay. toolbox. But this actually worked to cut through this. So did you practice it, or did you just I did, see me do I it? I did practice. Okay. okay. So just like that, and you, you kind of want to get a, you want to get it at that same angle. So that's going to be one of our legs. And I'm going to do the other side. So don't cut off your finger. Okay, and then unless you have another use for these, they can go in the trash. And then I'm going to put them next to each other and compare them and make sure they are the same height and they pretty much are. I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm going to just give the ends just a quick little smoothing. So they don't have to be completely flat, but I want to make sure I don't have any pointy edges or anything. Okay, so this is going to be the stand. And I'm, I don't have to cut this little section out, but I'm going to. It wouldn't hurt if I didn't. Snip that out, and it kind of, it kind of leaves a little uh, bump. So I could either sand it or I'm going to get my craft knife and I'm just going to kind of shave away that little bump. So don't cut your fingers when you do this or you have to put your picture up on Bill's wall. That's right. Bill taught printing and graphic arts in high school and his kids used... Knives, exacto knives, knives and some of them some of them were very careful some of them not so much it can happen to anybody bill has cut himself with exacto knives but his rule was if you cut yourself after you get bandaged up you have to have your picture taken and it goes on his wall of shame actually before they got bandaged before up, it got bandaged up so it was nat so it was nasty looking and I had teachers up on there. I had Ben Nicochet on mm -hmm. there on that yep. wall. I had Carrie no, Prominga on the no wall. No respecter. No respecter of persons. She's, she's down at the beach, so she's probably not listening. Uh, just kind of slicing off that little appendage. Okay. Good enough. Put that away. Put these somewhere safe. Yes. Okay. <sighs> we had to turn off the air conditioning because it's so noisy down here because the compressor is right over there. And now I'm getting hot. 
I don't keep it anymore. <laughs> oh, the wall was in his classroom. In fact, it changed every year because I would have six, seven kids on the wall every year. And so at the end of the year, I'd clear them off. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to place this so that it is straight up and down. And I'm going to use a couple of clothespins. Over the top? Over the top, yeah. You want to hold the top. Yeah. So I'm going to kind of, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to line up any certain way with that, with that opening, but I want to make sure this is as straight as can be. The legs are pointing the same. What? Okay. The wind is blowing outside. Okay, so I can do it a couple of ways. I can do it. I can do it kind of leaning. It's kind of leaning tilted forward, or I can swing it so that it is more straight up and down. I think I'm going to do this straight up and down. And I want to make sure those are. But it sits pretty level. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to kind of mark where that goes because I'm going to glue it. Okay. So I can kind of see where I need to put glue. I'm going to take my hot glue and I don't want to use a ton of this because I don't want it to seep out. Let me get it started there. Okay. And then I'm going to put that right back down where I see those lines. Kind of slide it into place. Hold it till it sets. Now this isn't going to take a ton of weight because it's just hot glued. But it'll hold scrunchies. But it will hold scrunchies. It will hold. Relatively, it'll hold band aids, the whole hydrogen peroxide hydrogen. sprayer. So, yeah, or it could hold some of your vitamins or something like that. Okay, so I can see where I need to put the glue. I don't want too much glue because I don't want it to squish out. Put it back down between those lines. And while I've still... It's actually kind of leaning back a bit. That's okay. It's okay. And there we go. And now the bottom one is just going to sit down here. And I'm just going to glue it to this bottom leg. And then I have a, a, a two-tiered two -tiered container. level you can do it as, as far forward as you want as far back as you want do the same okay so I've got that I've got that pinned in place you don't have to pin it in place that's just telling me where to put whoops where to put my glue say that back
Okay, I'm just going to glue that worry about the other side in a moment super easy I'm just going to push that down till that glue sets again don't use too much glue you don't want it seeping out Brittany. Hey, Brittany. I have to get something in the mail to you. How are you feeling, girl? You all better? That's what you're doing is super cute. <laughs> okay. Got that. Mark. down or it sets I'm going to here we go two-tiered tray okay so there you have it and it's and it's actually a little crooked but that's okay don't look at it from over the top <laughs> anyway cute we're not done we're going to put a little bit of decoration on it, although it has decoration. I'm going to use a couple of my chockable chips. I'm going to use the white ones. And I'm going, I've got a bunch of these mini transfers. This one is called Shine Bright Minis. So it's just got 12 little designs and they fit perfectly on these chockable chips. This has a sun, it has a heart, it has a light bulb spread joy shine bright i also have one that is called french country minis this one is on last chance it's when it's sold out it is going to be retired it's got lot, lots it's got a bee it's got a butterfly it's got home sweet farm it's got a chicken and a horse and kind of cute designs and then this is hello summer minis and we're going to use a couple on this one think so none of them are particularly appropriate for this but I kind of like I kind of like the bicycle throwback to my mom this one's really cute life is good and it's got a little trailer if I was making this for um, to go in on an RV that would be perfect uh, mountain magic on the road. So I think I'm going to do the bicycle. And I'm going to do I think I like this little palm tree and palm tree and ocean and sun and birds design. Put these down. I've used these before, so I'm not even going to fuzz them. And we're just going to chalk them up real quick with our black paste. A little bit. Squeegee over that screen. more on the bicycle Oops. scrape off my excess and clean my hands real quick we're almost done okay so if you had one of these where would you put it where would you put it in your house Joanne was telling Joanne? Brittany it could be a pacifier holder. It could be. Okay, so, so let's. Can go I'm going to peel this off. Well, good. And here we've got. Here we, I've got my little bicycle. And then this one is my little beach scene. My little beach scene. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I'm going to stick these over on my drying mat. And I'm going to dry these up. 
And then we're just gonna glue them on here. Now, if I wanted to um, trade these out every so often, I could attach them with Velcro. And that way I could change them for different seasons or different activities. Okay, dry that up. Clean this up. And cute. That down. I'm just going to take a little dot of glue. Stick that right there. Just add a little, little touch of something. Little touch, touch of something, something. That one there. It's totally optional, but cute. And there we have. We have our little tiered tray. Go front. Okay, so Patty would put hers on her desk with paper clips and staples. Yes, it would probably even hold a stapler. You could keep your, you could keep your. I would put heavier things down here, but it it holds up here. Pretty sturdy. Okay, you could. You could put your paste jars in there. Ooh, paste jars. Paste jars. Although you're not supposed to tip, you're not supposed to store your paste on its side. But anyway, cute, cute, cute little idea. So, any others? Okay, Joanne, are you gonna make one of these with band aids for band aids and and whatnot? Okay, let me really quick clean up these transfers, and then I will let you go. And we will go figure out what we're going to eat for dinner. And so just with water, spraying them, I'm going to start with a paper towel or a Swedish dishcloth. And I'm just taking off that top layer of paste. If you are interested in any of the minis that I showed you, I put them all in a cart link. You can take a look at it if you type the word, what did I say? Organize. Type the word organize. And you'll get a link to all of those different ones. And you can decide if you want to get one or all of them or take a look and see which what all the details they are. I'm getting a brand new board eraser. That damp. Spray this again. Now I'm going to use the board eraser to clean off any extra paste now the the dark the dark pastes will stain so you can see that staining on the on the plastic but as long as i get it cleaned out of the screen it doesn't affect how well the transfer works so get that all cleaned up i'm going to let those air dry when i am when they're dry i'm going to put them back on their little backer sheet and put it away in its little plastic sleeve and they are reusable 10 to 12 times guaranteed by the company but if you take good care of them and clean them up every time thoroughly you'll be able to get more uses out of them 20 25 or more Good question okay does a little throwaway loaf tin fit in there i do not know i can measure it for you and then you'd, you would have to be sure, because I know sometimes Dollar Tree changes up their, um, changes up their products and different, different things. But the inside is just a little over two and three quarters by just under five and a quarter. I don't know if that helps you. And it is two and a quarter inches deep. So about five and a quarter by two and three quarters. So I don't know if the little loaf tins would fit in there, but those would be cute. Okay, so cute little organizer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it with stuff and put it in my bathroom and take a picture of it and let you see it. 
But in the meantime, I hope you have a great rest of your evening and a great rest of your week. And I hope you'll check out my sales and think about becoming a club member because I've got a great incentive going on right now. And, and I hope you'll come back and watch us again for another fun project. Tomorrow we are on in the morning at 10.15 Pacific time. We are sharing into Craft Around the Clock. They are having sunflower themed week. So we, I've got a fun sunflower project for you tomorrow, 1015. Look for it, and I guess we'll see you when we see you. Thanks again for joining us, and I'm going to pose here. And we'll let you go. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.